When I started exploring the New York wind farms, I thought that politics would be best the last topic chosen. Chosen. Actually, I'm when I put these all together, I'm putting it first because what strikes me the most about New York wind farms is it's really just your classic political issue. It doesn't matter whether it's red state or blue state. If this was a state trying to attract a business and was using tax incentives, that's the topic. So whether it's a car company moving to Tennessee or wind farms going off of New York, at its core, that's what the project's about. And the environmental piece is something that New York State is concerned about, but the politics of it have a lot to do with the governor and the representatives there wanting them to be the big fish in the future wind farm business. And is that a guaranteed business? Well, no. Is there a good chance it's going to be a big thing? Well, yes, but it's a chance. And I grew up in New Jersey, and it's kind of funny having done a prior video on the New Jersey wind farms and the New York. What strikes me the most, as I commented in my other videos, is it would be best if the states work collaboratively on this because there is a limited capacity and limited financing, and they run the real danger of killing each other by trying to squeeze more out of the pipe, if you will, than can be done in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, I didn't expect to talk about whales, but I do think that's a good allegory for the whole green on green and shows some of this is judgment calls. All right. To me, it may be a simple judgment. Some may be using it just as a tool for opposition, but there is an actual issue there. And all of this, I'm not really the right person to discuss whether politics in America are right, wrong, or different. I have an opinion everyone does. I think what it does tell us is that if you're going with a capitalist approach to solving renewable energy, the New York wind farm is actually an excellent example of what you're going to run into along the way. And I don't think that's bad or good. I think it's just how we choose to do things and there are pros and cons to it. Uh, the last piece uh, that I do want to touch on, and I go into a lot more depth about financing, I find it distressing that government financing is getting ever more complicated and more difficult to understand because I think that is going to hurt projects when people don't understand how and when the money is being spent. And, and this is nothing unique to governments. They're just taking a lesson from Wall Street. So it's hardly surprising that New York, who's the financial engineering capital of the world, should be getting very creative with their financing. But I think there's something to be said for straightforward bonds as opposed to this tax equity financing, because when you're doing the bonds, you have a lot more control over the projects and a lot more control over the risk levels you're willing to take. So at the end of the day, when you're looking at the follow on videos to this, wind farms off of New York are really just a question of whether it's something that state wants to push or not. I think it's a good idea. I can lay out the reasons why it probably should work, but it's not a slam dunk. And there will likely be some costs, overruns, and schedule issues going forward. So with that, I hope you enjoy the other videos I have on this subject. And I do plan to revisit a couple of other subjects for the channel at large. I will tell you this whole study of the New York Wind Farm. I encourage you to listen to the videos because I don't know that I learned much that was shocking. But when I put it all together it really did paint a different picture of how renewable energies are implemented in the United States. Thank you and take care.